All right, Ink It and We Trust here, it's a must. So listen, I'm going to get into how to get playmaking badges quickly. So first thing first, you're going to have to put the game in Hall of Fame. Second thing, most important thing, bond the first thing. Listen, you need to play for the Denver Nuggets. Don't go nowhere else. Don't go to the team that you support. Go to the Denver Nuggets because Joe Hitch will literally save your life. Calm. So now, for you to get the playmaking badges, you have to do alley-oops. Alley-oops are the most important way to get your badges up. See, look, look, I made 29k in this game, which I'm pretty sure that if I play better, I can even double it. Look, so what you're going to have to do is go to the hash, dribble with the left stick, and get the, pass, get the opponent stuck into the screen, and then off that, make a play, and just do an alley-oop. Try to have like your ball pass passing accuracy like pretty high because you know what? You mess up sometimes, but don't worry about the times that you mess up. Something which is really important is don't always run the same play because the AI is pretty smart and it's gonna start reading them. And try to activate your badge because they're gonna like double up on you to prevent you from shooting freeze and stuff. See, look, here, double behind the back, pass. And there you go, layup. Sometimes just rely on your player. Sometimes they're going to get fouled. You're going to get frustrated. But don't get frustrated because that's literally the reason why you end up messing up the game. And like getting less points. Like I said earlier, it's really important to... Obviously, here I was doing dribble moves with the right stick. You know, but try to use the left analog stick to dribble. Like literally flick it left and right. Because it's easier to even speed boost out of it. And you know what? Your passes are more accurate when you use the left stick dribbling because you don't have to, like, do dribble moves and pass it out. Which, you need as much passing accuracy as you can. Also, you need the badge called Needle Forever, which allows you to get passes that literally go through the defence, even though the defender might be in the passing lane. But yeah, pretty much I've given you guys all the information that I know on how to get the playmaking badges quickly. So now it's all on you. Just practice it and get your badges up. In Ketan, we trust that's a must. You must hold it.